This is my version of the blowback rig. The main differences are I use shrink tube on the shank, which stops it from unsetting when a fish picks it up. Also sharpen hooks so it has more chance of finding some flesh. I'll go through it with you now. Right, okay, this is a rig that I do really well on everywhere. And at certain times of the year, it's all I use. But if I had to like do a rig forever, this would be the one. So basically, here I've got a stiff coated braid and I will use this rig in different types of, you know, supple coatings and stiff coatings. You can just adapt it to what you want. So I'll take off about five inches of the uh, coating. Using my teeth like I shouldn't. There you go, I took off about five inches. Tie a hair. Just snip the tag end off. Go away, you. So that's your hair. Now, the difference I do in this blowback rig is I do the whole lot with shrink tubing. And the reason I do it with shrink tubing is when you, you, do, you tie this rig with a ring, if the rig's picked up and the ring slides to the hook eye, it's then unset, so, so to speak. With the, with the shrink tube in, you're pinning the hair to the shank, so the rig is always set until the fish is actually hooked. So the first thing I do is I cut off a small sliver of shrink tube in and thread it onto the hook link. I then put the hook on, going upside down and turning it around without getting yourself in the finger. I like to use long hairs, so it's never a problem setting hair for me. This is a size 4 hook as well, big strong hook. Through the back of the eye. Just turn that round. Now once, twice, three times, four times, so not many turns. it so you've got your shrink tube in there and just your knotless knot then the next thing I do is my kicker so on the size fours I go a bit shorter if you want to use this rig with a smaller hook use a longer kicker and it will give you uh, more gape on the hook you get better hook holds slide that down over the eye That's that. And then on this end, I put a little anti-tangle sleeve because I use this on a helicopter rig mostly and that anti-tangle sleeve gives it the kick that it needs. Then I put on a small ring swivel and I'm using my rigs at nine inches at the moment, which is about my favorite length. So I tie that with a Palomar knot. which is simply an over, you double it over through the eye go through, so it's just an overhand knot and then you put the swivel through that ring this Palomar knot is generally the strongest knot you can tie on any braid or monofilament I need to wet that a little bit of spit on it and pull it down equal in the sides cut off your tail like that so I've completely covered my knot see so I've done the Palomar knot covered it and when that sits on the helicopter rig it'll just give it a little bit of clearance and hold it out it's 
So when I shrink, use a shrink tube, I tend to boil, a, boil some water, put a hot cup of water down, and I like to pull the hair round so it's all in place and nice and neat. Get it where you want it. Just drop it in, leave it for a couple of seconds, and then kick that over. So you're getting a right angle on that. And you can see how tight that shrink tubing's gone. So now when I put a bait on this, when that's picked up, like I said, it, when you've got a ring, it's unsetting every time. But when you've got that shrink tubing, it's nailed to the shank and it's always set, ready to be picked up.